about some abnormal results. So first of all, cardinal version versus defibrillation. In cardinal version, it's usually synchronized. What that means is that the electrical impulse is going to be um, in sync with the Q, with the R wave. So if you think of, um, shoot, here we go, P, Q, R, S, T. When they shock the patient, they're going to do it when the R wave is at its peak. That's synchronized cardio version. This is for usually non-lethal rhythms, A flutter, excuse me, atrial flutter, atrial fibrillation, ventricular tachycardia, and just tachyarrhythmias that are not causing the patient to pass out or perfusion issues. It's an elective procedure, okay? The client is awake, but they may be sedated. Excuse me. I know it's not that though, it's, you know. Um, it's synchronized with the R wave and the QRS, and the electrical jolt is usually less than defibrillation, usually anywhere from 50 to 100, 200 joules. And the joules is the word that we use, to the unit of measurement to measure the electrical component of the, of the shock. And then we have to have a consent form and we do ECG monitoring. That is cardioversion. Patients awake, they sedated, non-lethal things. And we usually synchronize it with the, with the R wave or the QRS wave, right? Then you have defibrillation. Defibrillation is specifically to uh, bring the patient back to life. We do it during cardiac arrest. But remember, the machine will tell you when to shock. If you have absolutely no rhythm, you can't shock that patient. But if they have cardiac arrest, the heart's not pumping because of ventricular fibrillation, then yeah, we can defibrillate. It's usually not synchronized. Um, usually for cardiac arrest, ventricular fibrillation, or pulseless tachycardia. Again, if you have no rhythm, you can't shock the rhythm. Otherwise, all you're doing is making carne asada. Okay, just frying the dude. Because you need to have a rhythm that's shockable for defibrillation. Um, so just remember that if the patient has is asystole, meaning no, no rhythm, you can't shock that patient. That just requires CPR. All right. And so right here it says it's for emergency, VFib, VTAC. Um, let's see, uh, no cardiac output. Um, it, well, again, it would be pulseless VTAC, no cardiac output, begin with 200 joules. Notice that the joules is a lot higher than it is for your um, regular cardio version. And the client is unconscious. And of course, we still do ECG monitoring. One thing that I wanted to say that I think I forgot. Oh, when it comes to cardioversion, there's different ways of doing cardioversion. There's the electrical one, but you also have chemical. Chemical means that you give them the medication. So a lot of the drugs that we're going to be discussing, it's chemical cardioversion. Hopefully it, it brings that rhythm out of its abnormal rhythm, but with pharmacological intervention. All right. 